What's up everyone, this is Seiya. Um, first of all, thank you for subscribing and watching my videos. I just started posting my videos like 5 to 6 months ago and I didn't expect getting more than a thousand subscribers this fast. Damn. And I really, really appreciate it. And I've been getting a lot of uh, comments and questions, especially about making tutorials and making some lesson videos on my channel. So I decided to do it. Unfortunately, I can't make tutorials for specific videos on my channel because it's just too many works and I'm too lazy to to do that. So. I decided to show you guys um, some practicing that I've been working on more than 10 years to to make my own style of drumming. I'm pretty sure it helps a lot. When I talk about my drumming rudiments is always the biggest thing like i can't talk about my drum life without this thing even though you don't know much about rudiments you're definitely using some rudiments when you're playing drums even if it's super super simple groove okay let's get started let's use 60 notes as an example, when you play 60 notes, how would you play or what sticking would you use? Maybe a lot of people say using single stroke to play 16 notes, like one, two, three, four. Or other people say using double stroke to play 16 notes. Like So far, you've already got four patterns of sticking to play 16 notes. Single stroke, start with right hand, right, left, right, left, and start with left hand. Left, right, left, right. And double stroke, start with uh, right hand. Right, right, left, left, and starts with left hand. Left, left, right. Those four patterns. Okay. Let's play two bars of 60 notes by using those four patterns of stickings. One, two, three, four. Like this, using different patterns of stickings to play the same rhythms gives you more, more ideas even though it's the same groove or rhythms. Let's let's use perditals for the next. So perdital is right, left, right, right, or left, right, left, left. As you can see, it's just a just a combinations of single stroke and double stroke. But there are more types of perditals, like double perditals, or uh, perditol diddles or like a lot a lot of perditols so just just try to study uh, more types of perditols first and try to be able to use them on 16 notes for now you can use perditols and single stroke and double stroke to play 16 notes let's play uh, four bars of 16 notes by using single stroke and double stroke and perditols <coughs> One, two, three, four. Like 
like this, you you just realize that um, even though you're playing the same rhythms, it could be played by like some different approaches like stickings, you know. Not only single stroke or double stroke. You just make a combination to play the 16 notes. Next, I'm going to be talking about dynamics. You've already got differences of stickings. But this time, you make difference by putting some accent on 16 notes. Like, okay, let's play two bars of 16 notes again. One, two, three, four. I used only single stroke, but if you put some accent on it, one, two, three, four. Even though it's the same sticking, it sounds completely different, as you can see. Those two things, just the two things, stickings and dynamics. If you know those things well, you can make a thousand variations of rhythms. Even though you're focusing on two bars of 16 notes, only two bars, you can make a thousand types of rhythms. Okay, let's move on to specific practicing. This is what I do. One, two, three, four. Did you see what I did? And can you explain what I did? So what I did was just played 16 notes without any breaks. And I tried to use a lot of stickings that I know, like as much as I know. And the point is do not make a break and never stop playing 16 notes. And just try to use stickings which come up with your brain. This practice could be any tempo. Like if you can't play that fast, you can practice with super slow tempo like one two three four or you want to build your chops or you want to practice super fast you can do like one two three four okay so the reason why i do this practicing is to be able to play a lot of variations of stickings without thinking I think it's super <coughs> super super important for drummers cause let's say you're playing drum song gig and let's say you have to play drum solo you do not have a time to think about sticking like okay let me play double stroke and paired it up at this time like this you know you do not have a time to think about sticking. But if you are able to play and use a lot of stickings without thinking, you can focus on rhythms and musics. Like you have more space on your brain when you're playing drums. Which is super important because you don't want to think about stickings when you're playing drums. Like, hell no. Nah. Another practicing which I prefer and which I do every day is singing and playing. What I mean by that, let me show you first. Okay. Da, 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 da. So what I did is singing some rhythm first. It could be any rhythms. I just I just sing uh, some rhythms which come up with my my brain and play the rhythms. But you have to fill the blank space with 16 notes. It's like it's just the same 
as the last one. Never make a break. Never stop playing 16 notes. So one, two, three, four, da, 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 da. And the point is do not make a time to think before you play that rhythms. Don't think. Feel. It is like a finger pointing away to the moon. So you play right after you sing it. Like, don't be like, da, 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 da. Don't be like this. You do like da 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 da. Do not think about stickings. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Like this, just sing some random rhythms and play it without any blank space. It might sound a little hard for you for the first time, but if you get used to it, you'll be able to play and you'll be able to use a lot of stickings without thinking. That's the point, without thinking. If you practice those two things, I'm pretty sure your drumming will be way better than now if you're having problem with stickings or rhythms. So just try to do this practicing, I'm not gonna say every day, but when you have a time. You will see. Thank you for watching. I know my English is pretty hard to, to understand because it's shitty. I know, because it's not my first language, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any questions about my videos, just send me comments or DMs. That's it. Thank you for watching.